This week on eTalk, Oscar winning and Emmy worthy, eTalk investigates the Canadian actors who turned down award winning roles. Alrighty, a new season of Degrassi premieres tonight on Much Music, and you're excited. I'm totally excited, and look out for a new class of fresh faces. I'm Drew. Hey, Seth. See you, school, bro. There are five new faces in the halls of Degrassi this year, including instant star alum Corey Lee. We actually bumped into each other last summer on the street outside of Starbucks. We did. And we had a little conversation. I'm like, hey, we should get you on Degrassi. You should be like a teacher or something like that. She's like, that's a great idea. And I totally forgot about it. And I'd like to introduce your new instructor, Ms. O. Hi. Are you even old enough to be a teacher? No bouncing. I am so happy. I'm so pumped. Coming back here is like a family because I know everyone. I'm just... So happy, my heart is just exploding, and I'm just, I can't wait. Other cast newbies sense the good vibe on set, too. Well, obviously, I mean, there's so many names we have to remember, but everybody's so nice. I mean, it's, it's honestly like camp. It's like, you come in, and there's like, you know, they have the music playing, and everybody's just chilling, and I mean, it's really fun. Everybody's like a big family, and it's amazing. Charlotte, I've known for years. I went to high school with her. And Aislinn, who plays Claire, I worked with her before, and so everyone's just really nice and really... A, they're, they're all excited because it's the 10th season. It's the 30th anniversary, so this is a huge year. A huge year that includes yet another groundbreaking new storyline. We're dealing with something this year we've never dealt with before, and it was actually, it was time. Like, the, we, we sat down, and it's always been sitting on the table. Uh, this is the first year. I just think about it, I'm getting chills. We're breaking new ground this year with this, with this storyline. It's amazing. Up next, on set with Tokyo Police Club and their canines. It fits in with the aesthetic of this album. We find out the reason they put pups in the spotlight. Yeah, I just thought it was awesome because who doesn't like dogs? 